Good morning, guys.
Can you hear me? As you can probably guess, I'm not too happy about this SCS gap down. I got shaken out near the close and now it's gapping down a lot. And I spent 10,000 to locate 20,000 shares this AM and yeah, it looks like it pissed away those 10,000. Because if it opens like this, there's no way I'm gonna trade it, no way. I'm just, I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed. I'm a little bit annoyed. Like the market just can't give me a good play. So frustrating. SCS is now now at VWAP if you look at the five minute chart. I wouldn't be surprised if it bounces back to 18 or something. But I, I'm just not gonna trade it here. You know, it could go either way, but yeah. I mean where it is now it could uh, it could easily go down five bucks, but it could also go up five bucks. I, I'm I'm gonna pass on it, I just be me, I didn't get any locates. I tried like two and a half hours before the open and I've been trying since and just no locates available for me. Unfortunately. Um, other than that, it looks like a slow day again. Nothing really. I got stopped out of USLV, the thousand shares I had from yesterday. I got stopped out of it on this gap down. Uh, Twilio and TTD having nice follow through. Yeah, most most of my holdings look fine. Most of my holdings are up, except this USLV that stopped me out on tiny tiny size. Um, wow, RLMD took out the opening range lows. Interesting. Interesting. This red I had actually a nice move into this news. Um, like both RLMD and red I may short them on good setups, but I just don't feel like doing them here near open. Uh, RLMD, I'm not finding any borrows for this thing. I forgot to look before. Okay, so RLMD, I'm not gonna trade since I can't trade it. But this Reda, now it's taking out the highs of the day. Maybe for later. Maybe maybe for later. RLMD, yeah, that's the one I'm gonna take it take off my uh, short watch list. Uh, Beamy is about to take. It. Let's see if I can find any more any shares. I haven't had luck for the past two and a half hours finding any shares in this thing, so it's probably not gonna happen. Nope. Okay. Does anyone have a broker where you can get locates for uh, B B I M I like Trade Zero? Does do they have shares? Or if you have, if you guys have any brokers that have shares for this thing.
oh, what's going on with RLQ? Oh, okay. Whew. I almost got a heart attack. I look, looked at this thing on the one minute chart. I thought it was tanking, but then I assumed the 60 minute chart, it's totally fine. I almost got a heart attack. I thought they had some bad news. Okay. Looking at two small time frames can be very toxic. <laughs> can be very, very toxic. Like this SCS, I want it to bounce more. Hmm. Also, is anyone short a SCS from yesterday? Did, did anyone who traded it uh, hold overnight? Like, I, I kind of fucked it up late day. I, I shouldn't have, you know... Mm. I should have known better because, you know, a late, late day ramp on these things, these are obviously, obviously short covers. And I, I got baited into it. I, it's stupid, it's stupid. SCS is near the lows of the day again. Now we took out the lows of the day. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Big down candle. <sighs> so no one is short. SCS. That sucks. Yeah, well, what am I gonna do with, with WWR? I mean, it's up 200%. Scapping up 200%. It's not my type of setup. I don't short on day one. Um, I do not short on day one. Bunch of stuff from my watch list is triggering, but I don't know. They're not that clean setups. Oh, come on, TC2000. Please work. Please. I can't believe they can't they get their servers in order. Come on. Okay, now. Um, mm hmm. Yeah, a lot of things triggering. Okay. Mm hmm. PDD. Well, okay, this is a little bit extended short term. Yeah, okay, now I'm gonna skip this one. I'm gonna take it off. Bazoon. Viva. But this one had also entry a couple of days ago. I'm taking it off. Uh huh. Okay, let's see what we have in the scans. <laughs> oh god, Roku, I... Oh, I accidentally looked at Roku. Shouldn't have done that. Beamy, okay, Beamy's, uh, let's see if I can, uh, nope, no shares, no shares, no shares, nope. Like, I would, you know, it could be a bit shortable, if it fails now at VWAP, it could be shortable. And you can use like a dollar or less of a stop, but it needs to fail here at VWAP. Um. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, WWR. Wow, strong, really strong. RLMDs fading. Rida. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna short a couple of thousand shares. May maybe. Let's see. How does it look? 146. 15. Okay, I, I shorted a few reader. I anticipated a little bit. But I'm gonna use this 148 as my stop. It's below VWAP. And I may add if it loses the lows of the day. Um, this thing was up big four, three days into this uh, news, into this data, and now it's gapping up big. Um, Okay, yeah, now to, okay, I didn't add, I didn't add, I still have the first, I have, I have 3,800 shares. Um, I'm gonna put in a stop. Okay, I'm covering some here. If I get filled, that is. <clears throat> no, I didn't hold SES swing. I got stopped out late day. I'm so annoyed. Oh my god, it was such a long time I traded stocks like this. I, I can't even trade it anymore. Like, I got squeezed into this late day short. I, I mean, I got squeezed out on this late day short squeeze. Like, all the shorts, they covered it, you know, before they closed. And I was one of them. It's just so stupid. Like, I should have known better. But I was so tired. And, you know, in hindsight, you know, it put in lower highs. I mean, it was still a lower high. I put my, I had my stop here. I should have kept it here. I mean, oh. It hindsight is so obvious. It's always obvious in hindsight. But man, I I should have known better. I really should. Hmm. I really should have known better. Wow, this thing is putting in a big fade here. You know, the opening range lows was the play, but you would have had, you know, I would have had to use a $4 stop. That's a wide, wide stop. That's not a great risk reward. Not a great risk reward. I try to lower stop every 30 minutes. I don't get stop. I never touch SS. Didn't want to pay. I'm only on Yuma from 14. Okay. Yuma. Hmm. Yeah, it's giving back all most of the move. Okay, TTD, uh, I'm gonna sell some, I I'll sell some. 
I'm up. Uh, um, let's see here. Almost five percent. Uh, I'll sell a tenth. I'll sell ten percent of this. And Twilio, what's Twilio doing? Twilio, uh, one fourteen forty. I'm up 3% and I'll sell a little bit here too. Just locking in into some into some strength here. Raising stops on both of them. Mm -hmm. uh. SCS, yeah, oh man. Yeah, uh, it's gonna go to 10 bucks today. Yeah, I, I, I'm worthless right now. I'm totally worthless right now. I can't even trade these super momentum stocks anymore. I just dropped the ball on this one. I was a little bit too eager in the front side, and now back side I'm just totally worthless. I don't want to look at it. I do not want to look at it. There goes my 100k trade without me. Here's another 100k trade that's going without me. <laughs> Yay! Trading is so fun. <sighs> well, have to wait for the next one. Right now I don't see much. Maybe these beaten down natural gas stocks. Like AR and RRC. I don't know, no. I mean they, they look like they want to go lower. Especially RRC. No, never mind. What's uh, MNK doing? Okay, it's, it keeps going down. ENDP, it's holding up, a little bit choppy. And Tiva is still holding up. But you know, this one looks also like it wants to go lower. Um, Okay, Rita found some support on this uh, rising uh, 10 uh, or 9 period moving average. I'm still gonna use that 148 as my stop. RLMD, if this thing can bounce back to VWAP, there may be a play there. Um, but I can't get any borrows, so. I tried again. B B meme.
Guys, like I said earlier, does can any of you locate BIMI at your brokerages, like Trade Zero and those those places? Can can you can you lo get locates for this BIMI? Any of you who know? Okay, packs. Holding packs from yesterday. Oh my god, wow, okay, yeah, I feel you, man. That sucks. Did they, what, what news did they have? Did they pre announce or anything? Like, what's the news? Holy shit, yeah, that sucks. That sucks. What's SDNE doing? SDNE is only down slightly, so it's company specific news. Uh, oh, okay, so follow up public offering. And it's down 16% on that? Ah. Holy, yeah, that sucks. Wow. Yeah, that sucks. On packs. I really feel you, man. That, that's, that's horrible. I mean, this thing was down almost 20% on, on a follow-up offering. It sounds, you know, I don't know. Looks a bit excessive. I don't know. Beyond Meat keeps going. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it's just going down a little bit every day. Little bit every day. <laughs> oh, and media keeps going higher. Wow, look at that. Look at that. It's been building higher lows the whole year. Now it had a little bit of a range break, but it's kind of choppy. It's not going to make a move like it did a couple of years ago. It doesn't have the earnings for it. Oh, okay, Rita keeps going lower. Or, you know, it's near the lows at least. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing fades back to 135 or something like that. Yeah, it's. I have to admit, it's been very frustrating uh, past couple of weeks since I started streaming. I just, I, I have been in a bunch of really good winners, but but I got shaken out. SCS and Roku. Those are two. Between those two trades, I mean, that that's like two hundred grand easily. That I dropped the ball on, and nothing, and I can't get anything else going. And the two ones I had, the two good ones I had, I, I just fucked them up. So now, just have to be patient and wait for the next opportunity. Well, I can't complain. I do have some other things working for me. They're not as fast as I would like them to be, but they're, they're okay. Like Twilio, Rida, uh, TTD, uh, Rida, it's too early to determine. Let's see how it reacts to this VWAP. If it can reclaim it or if it can like, if, it, if it's gonna fail. Um, <laughs> Chasey Penny looks like it wants higher. Like it's still building higher lows. You see, every day it's putting in higher lows. Like which way is it gonna go, right? Which where does it want to go? It's it's been putting in higher lows almost every single day for a, over a month. 
I don't know, I'm no genius, but to me it looks like fire. To me it looks like he wants to go higher. If this thing gets volume, I'm willing to add. I, right now I only have 50,000 shares, but I may add another 50 if it you know, starts breaking out with volume. Because it's right now it's building a base up on a base, and that's generally a bullish pattern. That is generally a bullish pattern. That it is. Oh my god. God, SCS. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yeah, not happy about how I traded. Like, the, the big mistake, like, I traded it correctly on the front side. Like, I did small size and I stopped out when I had to stop out. But where I dropped the ball was late day. When everyone else covered, I covered with them. You never want to cover when everyone else covers. Like, <laughs> that's the way you lose money in the markets. You, you have to um, uh, play differently. You have, to, you have to be a little bit of a contrarian. But I was part of the crowd late day. I was part of the crowd. And I kind of feel stupid now. I feel I feel stupid. Like I had like a what did I have? I had like a twenty one fifty average, twenty one or twenty two average or something. Yeah, and it's down forty percent since. But I was so afraid. Like I was so afraid it was gonna you know close strong and then squeeze like gap up like three five bucks pre market. Because I was a little bit shell shocked after getting stopped out, was it three or four times on the way up? So I kind of lost my perspective on it that it was building higher, uh, lower highs. <sighs> when day trading, is it okay to sell about half of, of position on one one to one RR when it's when when it's trading is going my way? I feel like closing it too early. I'm quite stressed when in profit. And yeah, yeah. In day trading, you have to sell at least a third or half when you when you have a one to one risk reward. You have to because in day trading, it's hard to get big risk rewards. You you can't get, you know, it's hard to get risk rewards of one to five, one to ten. So you kind of have to sell if you're up like one or two times your initial risk. You have to sell some a third or half. And then you get and you keep the other for a potential bigger move because then you're sitting and then you're, you're, you you are you have a free trade like if the other half goes back to break even you know you're still you still have a profitable trade and if it keeps going you have a bigger trade going on so it's a win-win scenario oh rlmd Wow, this thing is tanking. Yeah, the only the only reason this thing get opened up uh, uh, or went to thirty six today is because SCS went up three hundred percent yesterday. That's the only reason this RLMD was up at thirty five, thirty six today. And, and I'm, I'm I think uh, this um, it's the same with this Rida. Even though this Rida is actually a mid cap stock, I didn't realize that a three billion market cap. That's um, but yeah, I may add to this thing actually. If it takes out the lows of the day, I, I'm, I'm thinking about adding to it. It could take another leg lower. Good thing about uh, Rida is it's easy to borrow. Don't have to pay uh, some ridiculous borrow fees. That's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do you focus more, MAs or VWAP? Uh, well, I mean, on the daily chart, I only use the MAs. Intraday, 
I mean, I only pretty much use VWAP, but if I, when I when I'm shorting these momentum stocks, never when I go long. Only when I short momentum stocks do I use VWAP. Stocks with big volume and big range. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I guess I use VWAP and moving averages. I mean, I don't know which do I use more. I don't know. I use both. Um, I have no. I I never thought about it. Uh, and did you wait at least to one RR? I mean, look, you know, if you get into trades where you have a hard to get one risk reward, you shouldn't take the trade. Yeah, you should wait at least one R one RR. I mean, you're you're making you're you're here to make money, right? You need a big move. You you need multiples of your. If you if you start locking in trades that are up half a times your risk, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, at least one to one RR is when you start looking in. Um, I think it's more important. What? You, you think it's more important to focus on dollar risk than risk to reward, but it's the same thing. Guys, risk to reward is the same. Like, like, I mean, if, if you're risking a thousand bucks, you know, if you are up one times risk, you're up a thousand bucks. It's correlated. The only thing you do is you choose the dollar amount. So that statement doesn't make any sense because it's the same thing. Oh shit, Rita. Um, Okay, this thing is strong. Yeah, this thing is strong as fuck. Okay, I'm out of this reader. yeah yeah that's great this is yeah this is just so great the one i trade doesn't work yeah that's how it goes just awesome just awesome uh yep yeah, i understand thanks do you have a good risk reward? I learned from watching. Yeah, yeah. Tight, tight ranges on uh, on uh, big moves. Are you on B mid? No, I'm not. I I didn't get any locates. I don't have any locates. Um, unfortunately. But yeah, it would have worked. Like this. Yeah, this is what I, exactly what I said when the stock was here. Watch for a fail at VWAP, and that's exactly what happened. Fail at VWAP. Put in another lower high, and now it, <laughs> now it's halted into a big down candle. Yeah, my God, there was so much money staring into my face to, this morning, and instead I'm down. I lo instead I lost fifteen thousand on Rida, and I lost ten thousand on the SCS locates I never used. That's just a great beginning to my day. There's like hundred thousand dollar trades flying all over the place. <laughs> My God, just great, just great start to the day. Oh man, well at least some of my holdings are working, that's good, that's good. Yeah, now a bunch of stocks are fading again after some AM strength. Interesting because spies and queues are going higher, but a lot of the stocks that triggered are going lower. Like Melee, Teradoc, uh, what more triggered? Viva triggered, but this is holding. Uh, PDD is off its highs. AYX is way off its highs. AMD is way off its highs. 
Hmm, interesting. That's not necessarily something you want to see. T and the M is up. Why is T and the M up? Uh, okay, they had an agreement with Abbott on diabetes. All right. Rita is strong, really strong. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this stream early. I, I, I don't even wanna think about trading more today. You know, some days the market cuts piss in your face and that's gonna happen and you have to take it. You have to take it, you say thank you and next day you come back stronger. And this is one of those days. They pissed in my face, I have to say thank you because I have no choice and yeah. <laughs> wow, Rita almost down 44% from it so uh, from it from the highs. Just amazing. Holy moly. SCS down keeps going lower. Hmm. Beamy, yeah. Yeah, I can't look at this. I, I just can't look at this. I don't even want to look at these things. I'm gonna do one more la uh, last scan and then I'm gonna cut the stream and do something else with my day. This is just pointless. Positions look fine. IPHI is nice, strong. This thing wants to break out. It's been building higher lows for a month. You know, I think this thing goes to 75 easily when it bro breaks out. Or if it breaks out, you know, you never know in this market environment. And with my recent luck, this is probably gonna gap down <laughs> 10 bucks tomorrow. Um, DDS is not doing much. The infinity squeeze is not materializing. I want my infinity squeeze. A guy on Twitter promised the in infinity squeeze. Where is it? I don't see it. OLED. Hmm. Nah. Like this is a, it's, it's, it's surfing the 200 day moving average, but I don't see a setup here. It's just been inching higher and yeah, I don't know. This is a buy and pullback kind of a stock. Like last time the great buying opportunity was when it uh, bounced off a rising moving average. Um, and it's been the same way many times, like here was a great buying opportunity, here in this area. It's when it pulled back and bounced off rising moving averages. Uh, but it doesn't look clean right now, it just doesn't look clean.
SCS still keeps hitting lows. Beamy, I had the perfect setup for it, but I just didn't have shares. This could have easily been another 100k trade. I had the perfect setup on it. Oh boy. Watch out for the VWAP bounce and then a fade of VWAP. That's exactly what happened and it's down 35% since. Instead, I trade this Rita, which doesn't go down. Stops me out for a $15,000 loss. And I'm watching SCS from the sidelines with 10,000 in borrow fees. Oh boy, yeah, I'm gonna cut the stream. I'm, I'm just not in a mood to trade more. Unless I see something miraculously good, which probably won't happen. Uh, I, I just not gonna do much. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, it's only Tuesday. I thought it was Wednesday. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, thanks guys. I hope you have a better trading than, day than me. I hope, hope you have a better past couple of weeks than I do. Uh, because I suck. I just suck right now. Uh, well, thank you guys. And see you tomorrow.